after watching Laura's video and what she done to a certain somebody, which I'm not going to mention, and out of them for um, their recovery and what they chose to do to get there, I think she ought to be ashamed of herself. And I was very inspired to the person who left the comment. And I just wanted to say congratulations. And um, I'm glad your journey, you're alive to tell it and to share it and to never be ashamed of your story because it certainly will inspire others and you could do so much and help others. And um, I'm very sorry for your losses as we all had many, uh, you know, this epidemic in the United States with pills and heroin is really, really sad. It's taken very good people. And for her to even compare or to think that that's okay and mess with people's sobriety and out them like that, you are pathetic. Laura Keck, you are pathetic. But this, this is really, you're canceled in my book. I will never, ever, I, I just have no words. It's, this is not about you. This is about getting the message out to people who are fighting this battle and in recovery. You just keep fighting. And my advice is to get away from people like this because this is not what you need in life. You need people that are going to inspire you. Before I, before I start this video, I just wanted to start with this and congratulate to anybody who's fighting the demon of addiction and is in recovery. I just want you to, wanted to share one of my favorite quotes. On this day, you surrendered. You must set up some courage and ask for help. You begin a new way of life. Slowly, you became honest. You sought to help others. You became a giver. You took less. You began to feel pleasure, pain, sadness, and joy. On this day, you got sober. To everyone who is in this fight, I commend you. It's courageous. And keep fighting because I know it's not easy. And don't ever, ever let anybody, anybody tell you any different. Whatever road it is took you to get there, you're there. And that's all that matters. And the people that want to try to sway you are the people that are in denial. Remember it. Since you decided to delete this beautiful comment, I decided to bring awareness. Someone's playing games and keeps deleting my comments. So let's really play a game, Laura. If it's not you deleting it, then you should figure out who is fast. Because we're going to have some fun until then. 1612. Are you kidding me? I'm glad I missed the beginning of this, shaking my head. You are using somebody's use of Suboxone to save their life, to defend the Adderall getting sent in the mail. That's apples to oranges. I have literally buried more friends than I have left alive. But you know what? The ones that are still alive have to thank for not falling victim. This heroin epidemic, Suboxone. You know who else has Suboxone to thank for being here? Me. With seven years clean, I wouldn't have this behind me if it wasn't for Suboxone. And I definitely wouldn't still be alive. Coming off them absolutely sucks. But it's better than the alternative, which is death. And because it's so hard to get some people might never wean off, and that's okay, too. Knocking anyone for being that is pathetic. They should be more commended, as should anyone in recovery. The only people abusing Suboxone is the people in jail and the people prescribed that truly don't want to be clean. Even if someone is abusing their script, it isn't my business or your business or YouTube's business. The same goes for your prescriptions. And I don't give a fuck and what mail. It's nobody's business. I'm about to shake my head, clean off my shoulders after hearing that. Shaking my head. 
you'll have to bring this to an end because you're all going too far now. Nobody is coming out of this looking good. Time to wake up, people. Keep deleting it, and you're going to have to block me because I'll spam it everywhere. Now, I just want to give my opinion based on this. You see, I made a comment, and maybe it wasn't the right thing to make that comment on, but it really incited me that you was putting people in harm's way and even asking or speaking about this on a public platform. Um, people know how I feel about people in recovery and the compassion that I have, so I couldn't agree with this comment anymore. And maybe I'm no angel for bringing it to the attention, making the video I did, but my problem is I would have never done it except for Laura called my comment out, read it out loud on her live after she announced it plenty of times of and bragged about it. And somebody in recovery does not, is not allowed to take Adderall. That's not recovery. That's, you're still addicted. And that's it. And I don't think that you should be, you know, speaking that you're in recovery if you're really not. Because you're sending out a message that it's okay to do this. And it's not. It's absolutely not. And I will take a stand against that. Anyway... What I comment, and my opinion, on something that she decided to bring live, it is my business because she's doing it on her live. Now, her comment, my comment, she read on over her live, and then she called me a fucking liar, and trying to make it look like that I was making this bullshit up. And the one thing I'm not, is you can call me every name under the sun, but a lawyer is not one of them. And when she did that, I went in her room to kindly talk to her. I was not taken very lightly with some people in her chat. And not taken very lightly, kindly by her either. Sorry, I'm a little nervous here. And that's what sent me over the edge. So, um, I don't apologize for it. When she continued to call me a liar, didn't want to cease fire, didn't want this to come to an end, refused to stop, and told me to prove myself, well, then then I'm going to prove myself. So, no, I'm not proud of it because it's, maybe it wasn't the right thing to do. But at the end of the day, it doesn't seem to bother her because she's still out here on live spraying about it. And to anybody that could sit there and support a woman that downgrades anybody who is taking something to get over an addiction, to help them and to keep them alive and to get them off the streets and to keep them clean is absolutely fucking disgusting. Disgusting, despicable, disgraceful and there's no other words to put it you laura are a goddamn animal and you should be ashamed of yourself period the end